Long before Jay-Z and Blue Ivy, and Kanye standing up for Beyonce, twice, before all of that, there was just Destiny, Houston's own Destiny's Child. Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1998, Houston's own Beyonce Knowles and Destiny's Child released their first album. The self-titled album was gold, and the hit single No, No, No went platinum. At the time, the Chronicle wrote that Destiny's Child's date with Destiny has finally arrived. Though not everyone's destiny would last for very long. After the monumentally huge release of the album The Writings on the Wall, Latavia Roberson and Latoya Luckett left the group and were replaced by Michelle Williams and Farrah Franklin. But Franklin soon left, and destiny became the trio of Kelly Rowland, Michelle Williams, and of course, Beyonce, who went solo in 2005. To this day, Beyonce is open about her love for her hometown. As a kid, she spent her summers going to Splashtown and the Astrodome. And when she visits, she enjoys going to church at St. John's on West Gray. Destiny's Child reunited in 2013 for a surprise performance at halftime of the Super Bowl. All right, did you see Beyonce with Destiny's Child perform in Houston before she became an icon? Let me know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV, using hashtag ForgottenDayHOU. I'll tweet you back. My body's so bored delicious.